Alright, I've been researching, <laughs> researching about various different third parties or political parties that are in the Republican and Democrat. And uh, I don't know how many videos I've done so far, but um, now I'm on the American Solidarity Party. They have a YouTube channel and a website, I think. I'll leave those in the description, in the link below. And uh, they have a long platform in their website. Uh, their long platform involves life, education, civil rights, criminal justice, econ economics, s civics, public services, foreign policies um, and the environment so they have a lot um, life they are pro-life but they are also anti-death penalty anti-capital punishment so there are for no taxpayer funding of abortions they are kind of for universal health care, but not with the government being in charge, more the people and the doctors being in charge, but the government paying for it, I think. Um, they are, they are, they are, they have a one man, one woman for life marriage stance. Uh, they want to repeal no fault divorce. They want to repeal policies that discourage marriages. And they want to encourage adoption for people who can't keep their kids. But they believe that it's best for the kids to stay with their parents when all possible. Um, they want to get rid of stem cells, test tubes, sperm banks, and those kind of things. They believe natural birth is better. Um, they want to keep kids with their parents, like I said, as much as possible. They believe in a huge health care for pregnancy. Uh, uh, they believe in workplace accommodations for all parents. Um, they don't believe that they believe one paycheck should be enough to afford both the wife, well, both the spouse, or or the and the children. They uh, and of course they believe that this stuff should include the disabled, elderly. They're not, they're against the transgenders and surgeries of that nature. They're pro-family, a culture, they're for a culture that's pro-family. They're wanting the public sector and private spaces to be child-friendly. Uh, and that's basically their family platform. Then they have education. Education, they want parental choice in schools and control, so school choice. Whether it's private school, public school, or, um, or homeschool. They also believe that the parents, they believe the parents and the teachers should be the ones in charge of the curriculum, not the government. Um, they believe in like higher education to be sponsored by the scholarships and possibly paid for by the government, so free college. Um, they think teachers should get paid good and they believe education should be more than just reading writing and arithmetic they think that they think that stuff like uh nature um engineering uh, uh auto mechanics home ec uh all that should be included when you go into high school and they believe that sex education, when it's taught, should be taught 100% accurate. 
100% accurate and they really believe that during sex education they should teach that abortion is the taking of uh, innocent life basically. They believe in civil rights, they believe in the Bill of Rights, they believe in fair justice and equality for all, they believe in religious liberty, they believe religion should be okay in the public and that the First Amendment should be protected everywhere. Um, freedom of speech. They believe they that individuals and businesses should be protected from civil prosecution and liabilities based off of someone's freedom of religion. Nobody should be fired, sued, or boycotted because of that. They don't believe that there's a separation of church and state. They believe that their church and the state can work hand in hand. They want to defend free speech and peaceful assembly. They want to stop discrimination based off of race, religion, whatever. They want to protect people's lives, property rights, wealth. They want no one to be discrimination based off of their upbringing, their life, where they live, uh, how much money they have, etc., etc. They're wanting to be for the disabled. They're against the draft. They really don't think that the women should be put in a selective service. They're against using national security to justify violating people's civil rights and liberties. They want to repeal the Patriot Act. They want to repeal secret tribunals. And they want no... They don't want us to hold foreign non-combatants in American prisons or secret jails like Guantanamo Bay and those guys. They're for criminal justice. They want to have a... They want to people to... They want criminal justice to address the causes of crime and criminal behavior, not just arrest people because they're criminals. They want to know why people became the way they are. So, psychological approach to criminal justice. Uh, therefore, they don't want the police to be privatized. They think the police should ha be held to a higher standard. They want transparency and trust and more community policing. They want equality in the courts for all so that the rich don't get off just because they rich and can afford better lawyers and the poor get looked at better the better the or and all that good whatever all that stuff uh they want to reduce the prison population by creating what it seems to be like a bigger prison for the hardened criminals and then um rehabilitation centers for everybody else pretty much especially drug and alcoholic type people rehabilitation they believe in more of a rehabilitation than to be putting them into the population with hardened criminals i know in economics they believe that a single income family they, they believe in single income families they believe that one man or one woman i suppose should be able to make enough money to afford everything they believe in labor unions and they don't want public they don't want public power to be used against private power they want to abolish corporate welfare they want small they, they're more for small businesses over large corporations they want fair tax they want everything to be done for the public good and not for greed. They want to. They want, want wage theft to be investigated. 
They're all for workers' rights, workers to have partial ownership of the company they work for. They want human dignity, customers first, 23. workers first. <laughs> they like public and local over Tomorrow. big national and corporate Jeffrey. giants. These are. They want social security. They want to keep social security, but they want to end the FACA cap. Therefore, uh, they think unemployment money should be used to help people who don't have jobs create jobs by starting businesses or buying businesses that are going that are, are trying to like go out of business so people don't go out of business. Uh, you know, invest that money to unemployment to get people employed, not keep people unemployed. They are for private property rights. They for nature. They're for credit and loan reforms. They don't believe that people should, that they don't believe in loan sharks and high interest rates and all that stuff. Yeah, that's right. They, they believe in stop paid lending. Nobody needs a rich man. Everybody Greed is bad. Civic, they believe in civics and public leadership. Proportional representation. They believe Congress should be proportionally represented. They believe in my blood vessels. Look at them. Anyway, they believe in Very approval type elections. Um, they want easy access for everybody of info on all candidates running for all political offices. And equal rights uh, for all political parties, and pol po and equal equal rights for all political parties, and people running for office, and to make it easier to run for office, so that you don't have to be a member of a party. Um, they are for uh, the zoning laws to be more. For smaller and private businesses, they are for accountability in everything. I told you they were long. <laughs> they are for jobs programs all across. They are wanting to get rid of. They they won't. They don't want there to be monopolies over uh, in the public, but they also believe that certain public utilities should remain public and not be controlled by corporate giants. They are for uh, patents and copyrights and intellectual property rights to be more for the individuals so that people that are like working for a company Somebody works for a company and they figure out something while working for the company, that pro intellectual property should be given to the individual, not the corporation, that kind of stuff. They are for free, they're for the f free airwaves. They don't believe that the airwaves, radio, television, internet, etc., are to be owned by the com commercial giants they are for they are for a free independent press airwaves they are for corporate they 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 do not believe corporations should be 
considered citizens or people under the law like they are nowadays. Um, they're for antitrust legislations. They're for a free internet, public utilities, net neutralities, no censorship or data collection when it comes to internet services. Now, on their foreign policy, on their foreign policy and immigration, they are for a peaceful world of international cooperation. They believe war should be the last resort, and that our military should be used on, on and in an actual military attack. They they have a non-intervention policy. They believe that Congress should get should go back to the constitutionary war powers and that the presidency should not be completely in control of the military. They believe that Congress should have some say into what the military does with their constitutional war powers. Okay. They want to disarm all nuclear weapons. They want to... I already gave them a name. Stop interrupting. Shh. They for for trade agreements uh, to be more pro individuals and small businesses over and over corporations. They want a safe and secure and orderly borders. They want to. Increase our paths to citizenships and make it easier to become citizens. They are for some asylum of refugees. They are for workers' rights, fair labor, fair pay, and that kind of stuff. And with the environment, they're they're kind of on the same side of the Green Party when it comes to the environment because they believe in a lot of that uh, environment stuff. They believe, basically, recycling, uh, being good stewards of the environment, renewable energy, clean water, uh, reducing our carbon footprint, conservation, uh, have local responsibility and accountable for waste management, uh, protecting our our wildlife and our national forest uh, forests, and uh, uh, funding alternative energy and alternative uh, ways of making money, and having more regulations to protect, of course, the environment. They even want to create um, uh, some kind of in eco tax or whatever it's weird uh, that the money is going to be used to pay for protecting more of the environment or whatever anyway that's pretty much all of the solidarity party of america's platform they are actually the one the american solidarity party that's what it's called, or asp they are pretty much got the longest the longest platform of things they are for and against I will leave a link to their website and YouTube channel in the description below because um, this is just a brief overview of what they stand for and believe if you want to read their full platform you need to go to their website because I only wrote down a little bit of snippets. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And have a great, wonderful day. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. Uh, Jesus is King. Jesus is ruler of everything. And if you can't find and stay informed when it comes to your elected officials and your politics and who's running and what they stand for and what they believe and as always if you can't find anybody worth voting for go ahead and just write my name in it's fine. <laughs> or yours it don't matter anyway have a great day laters